All right, you adventuresome people, we're going to do Earthquake 3 data and find where the epicenter is. All right, so now this is a different size we're going to than we had before. This one actually is just a clock. It's not a zero in how many seconds. Uh, it's actually a clock. So, but same thing, we've got to find the difference in time between the beginning of the P and the beginning of the S. So right here, starting at 8.17.0, uh, 2 seconds, 4 seconds, 6 seconds, eight seconds so this one is starting at 81708 and then you come up here and find there's 50 52 54 56 58 59 so how long is it between 81708 write those down 81708 and 81759 that would be 51 seconds so you should write you write down somewhere that that's 51 seconds all right, now Winnemucca again. We're starting here, 8:17. This is starting to kick in at just about 8:17:02. So 8:17:02, and the S wave is here's 8:18. So 2:4, 8:18:04. Um, so how far time is it between 8:17:02 and 8:18:04? That would be 62 seconds. Write that down. And then. We've got the Medford seismogram, and we're coming in here as 817. We got two, four, six. It's kicking at 81706. Write that down. Coming over here, and we got 818 is right here. Two, 81802. So write that down. And so how long time is it in between there? Well, that would be 56 seconds. All right. So now you go to your chart here, and you want to read 51 seconds for uh, Las Vegas. So here's 51, come across, boom, and we're going to say we are at 500 kilometers. Now Winnemucca was 62 seconds, one, two, come across, it's a little bit past 600, uh, well, let's go 605. Again, we, we, we got some precision issues here, but we're going to get close. And then we need the uh, Medford data. That was 56 seconds. So 56 right here. Come across. Boom. That's like 540. A little more than 540. But not quite 560. Uh, so you know, like 545. Okay. Now, that's what we need to graph. And we're going to graph it. We're going to graph it at that website. I like that website. All righty. And uh, did you write these coordinates? You know, you have these coordinates down, right? Okay. Here's the other. Here's the other. Did you pause those? All right. So let's go to this website. And plot coordinates. Hey, remember that uh, we are west of the uh, longitude, so that'd be a negative. So we're going to do 36. Hey, let's just be rough. Let's go 36.1 and negative 115.2 and 40.96. I can round that up, so it's really just going to be 41. And then negative 117.8. And then now, is that Medford? And then Medford is 42.3 and negative 122.9. Awesome. Copy that. Plot a circle with that data. Bam. Um, this had a radius of 500. This had a radius of 605. Let's go not like those blanks. I don't know. Sometimes they like blanks, sometimes they don't like blanks. You know, spaces. And then 5:45. So here we go. Update our map and nothing. Oh, it's because remember it's over here. Alrighty. So whoa, where are we going? Hmm. Boy, we're we were really rough with our uh, latitude and longitude, weren't we? That kind of mattered because here's the closest where three circles are going. So again, yeah, we did 36.1. We didn't do very many decimals. If we, I bet you if you put all those decimals in, you're going to squeeze these circles uh, closer together. Um, 
So, right about San Jose is where this one was. Coordinates. Um, you can look them up. Google will look them up for you. Um, so let's say uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. Las Vegas, Nevada. See, I put it in for me because I already had looked for that. Coordinates, and it will tell you right there. Now, is that actually the seismometer or the seismograph station? No. Um, I, you know, I can't find those. It's a little hard to find those, but it's giving me pretty close. Uh, this one's actually giving me McCarran Airport. Um, what was the other one? Winnemucca. Win Winnemucca. Nevada. Coordinates. Boom, 49683. This is what I did before when I got those. Um, so Google does some things for you.